Section 3.4 Histograms Objective 1. Construct and interpret frequency and relative frequency tables. In the table to the left, the data are grouped by intervals of numbers called classes. There are seven classes in the table, each with its own lower class limit and its own upper class limit. The lower class limit of a class is the smallest value within the class. The upper class limit of a class is the largest value within the class. If we look for the first class, you can see that the lower class limit is 31. And the upper class limit is 41. The class width is the difference between consecutive lower class limits. The class width of each class can be found by subtracting lower limits. The frequency of a class is the number of observations in the class. The relative frequency of a class is the proportion of the observations in the class. So here we have exam scores in the first column. The class goes from 31 to 40. The next class goes from 41 to 50. 51 to 60, 61 to 70, 71 to 80, 81 to 90, and 91 to 100. So we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 classes. Here we can see the lower class limit of the first class is 31. And the next class, the lower class limit for that one is 41. So 41 minus 31 gives us 10. So that tells us that the class width is 10. If you can see, 41, 51 minus 41 is 10. 61 minus 51 is 10. If we look at the upper class limits, we look at 50 minus 40, that is 10. 60 minus 50 is 10. Now the frequencies, we can see what the frequencies are, and then we have the relative frequencies from our previous exercises. Now, for example, the data below is how much a person pays per month in dollars for their cell phone bill where they are only paying for one line, rounded to the nearest dollar. We want to be able to construct a frequency and relative frequency table using 20 as the lower class limit of the first class and a class width of 10. Now, if we look at all the data values, if we count these up, we should get 33. Now, one way of looking at this is looking at this as a rectangle. You can see here, that we have a total of how many rows? We have three rows. And if we look at the columns, we have 11 columns. So if we take three and multiply it by 11 is basically finding the area of the rectangle, then we get the total of 33. So that means we have 33 entries. Now again, we're going to construct a frequency where 20 is the lower class limit and it has a class width of 10. So what we're going to do is, here we have our first column. We have the cell phone bill in dollars. So if our lower class limit is 20 and we have a class width of 10, that means that we go from 20 to 30. Therefore, the difference between that is 10. That's why the class width is 10. And then another class width of 10, which is 40 minus 30, and then 50 minus 40. Now, we go from 20 to 29 because 29 is now going to be the number right below 30. Same thing with 40. 39 is right below 40, so it's 30 to 39, 40 to 49, and 50 to 59. So we end up with 1, 2, 3, 4 classes. Well, why do we have 4 classes? Well, 20 is considered the lower class limit, so all these numbers that are listed in this table must be 20. Now, the largest number that we have in our data is 59, which is the reason why we go to 59, and that's why we have four classes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at 20 and then 29. And so what we're going to do is we're going to count all the numbers in our table that represent the numbers between 20 and 29. So here we have 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, and nine. So we have nine. Now let's take a look at the numbers between 30 and 39. So 30 and 39, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we have 10. Now let's take a look at the numbers between 40 and 49. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. And then numbers between 50 and 59, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Okay, so that gives us our frequency column. Now what we're going to do is find the relative frequency. The relative frequency is taking the frequency and dividing it by the total number. So 9 divided by 33 gives us approximately 0.27. 10 divided by 33 gives us approximately 0 0.30. 8 divided by 33 gives us approximately 0 0.24. And 6 divided by 33 gives us approximately 0 0.18. So there is our frequency and relative frequency table with, again, a lower class limit of 20 and a class width of 10.